Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Mr. Neal's Lego Robotics. And if you've ever had this problem before, you have in a first Lego League robot where the motors are horizontal, which means they would rotate this way. And you're like, but, but Mr. Hina, we want our motor to be able to rotate vertically. So we're able to clamp down on something or pick something up this way and be able to complete a first Lego, Lego League mission with a vertical gear so that the attachment can go this way, back and forth. So today what I have is a solution for those of you. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and give you a warning. This is gonna be a Lego EV3 solution, which means if you have a Spike Prime kit, you might not be able to get this done. Now you might say, well, Miss, you know, what about bevel gears? I'm not a big fan of bevel gears because they tend to slip and get that clack, 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 clack sound. So today what I want to do is, again, give you a Lego EV3 piece solution. So let's go to it. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you a closer look at this dilemma. You can see how these two motors are horizontal, which means they will rotate horizontally, which does not allow you in a lot of cases to complete a first Lego League mission, especially if you're having to pull something out or pick up something. You don't want a horizontal gear because that's not gonna allow you to get the vertical action that you might need. So today what I wanna do is just show you a quick little gear box that I made using these, again, Lego EV3 pieces. I thought there was a like cool name for these and they're just called the black four tooth gear and they'll look like this right there. And so here's all I did is, and to be honest, it took a lot of effort to get both of, you know, this gear right here and this gray sleeve into this axle, but that's all I did. And so this is the axle that's going to go inside of the motor. So when this spins horizontally, it's going to spin this one vertically, which allows you to, again, clamp down on something or, you know, if you flipped it this way, you know, be able to pick something up, you know, just depending on your needs and how you want to attach this thing. And then it will... If I put this piece right here, and this is going to sit, let me lift up my robot here. This is gonna sit right there. Gotta make sure I get this gear in good. There we go. And now um, I can, you can hear the motor and you can see how those gears are working right there. So when that rotates horizontally, it can now make this thing pick, da pick down on something. Or if I flip this gear around, let's flip it this way, like there. You know, I, I can just change this however I want. And now I have a horizontal gear that makes this now a vertical one. And again, you can put this on how you want. Got to make sure I don't push this out a little more. There you go. And there you have it. So it's going to be, again, something that you will have to get if you have a Spike Prime kit. But again, I'll leave you the link in the description on how to get these four tooth black gears. And obviously, you're going to need two of those. And, you know, I'm sure there's a Spike Prime expert out there that's going to say, well, Mr. Hino, I, I know another way uh, that you can use the Spike Prime pieces only. And um, I don't, I'm not sure if there's a way without using a bevel gear setup. But other than that, there you go. Going from a horizontal gear to a vertical one. And hopefully that allows you to get a lot of first LEGO League missions done. Okay guys, so hopefully you found that helpful, especially if you have a Lego EV3 kit. If you do not, I'll leave you the link 
to that piece, that gear, and you're going to need two of them to make this work. And I apologize, it's going to cause you a little bit extra, you know, legwork to get that piece. You can always do the bevel gears, um, and you can also try to figure out another solution. Again, just be careful with the bevel gears that you figure out some way to not have them slip. Um, but this case with the gears that I use today, those things are solid unless you are like putting a lot of strain on those gears. Um, you know, they do maybe have a tendency to come apart or slip. But if you're just doing a normal first Lego league mission that's not, you know, requiring to uh, lift a lot of weight, that should be your piece, okay? So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.